Another big story we are following along with the rest of the nation, the Ahmaud Arbery murder investigation. He is the unarmed black man killed while out jogging in Brunswick. Today, state leaders joined the community calling for the removal of two district attorneys. We are here for a new day in Georgia. Protesters met today outside the Glen County Courthouse wearing masks. There's now investigations, rallies, demands, defining fast moving developments on many fronts. John Sherrick is on the story for us tonight. At the courthouse in Brunswick, demands that local prosecutors be removed from office immediately for not pursuing murder charges back in February against father and son Greg and Travis McMichael in the shooting death of 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery. The GBI took over the case last week, took the McMichaels into custody, charged them with murder. Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr now telling the GBI also to investigate those local prosecutors for possible criminal violations of duty. We absolutely must get to the bottom of this. Waycross DA George Barnhill is not commenting. Brunswick DA Jackie Johnson says the investigation will prove that she acted properly in recusing herself from the case because Greg McMichael once worked in her office. Kevin Smith, one of Arbery's cousins. We all here for justice. We all here for peace. And with Jackie Johnson in office, it'll be hard for us to get it. They're calling on Georgia to adopt an anti-hate crime law. They want to call it the Ahmad Arbery law. For Teresa Edwards of Brunswick, it is personal, this fear, including distrust of police and prosecutors still. We don't feel safe at all or protected by them. It could have been anybody's child. Right is right and wrong is wrong, and what they did was very wrong. And she blames those who killed Arbery and those in power who seemingly let them get away with it for more than two months as the GBI and the Justice Department now investigate it all. And remember, police say the McMichaels claim they were trying to stop a burglary suspect and shot in self-defense. So the GBI and the U.S. Justice Department really are investigating everything and everyone involved in the shooting, the initial prosecution or lack of it, and the apparent delays in what is now a major criminal and civil rights case. All right, stay in the know with the very latest developments in the Albury case. Download the 11 Alive app to get a breaking news alert sent directly to your phone.